If you're like me years ago and used to walk up to your photocopier, do a scan and then wait for the scan to go and then do another scan. So you're basically doing multiple scans, but you're doing it multiple times on the photocopier. You're doing it the hard way. <laughs> you can actually separate your documents with a color separator. So I've got a 25 documents here. So all separate documents. Instead of doing it one by one, this is one go, 25 PDFs. So let's go have a look now at my emails and how it came through. Now we are at my computer and you can see that all these those attachments have come through with that big document we've scanned has split them into 25 different attachments. Now the reason why I wanted to show you scan to email purposely was because I've I when I load it into the machine I, I made sure it was 300 dpi which is the resolution and then um, you can see that it's got great resolution. I've highly compressed the file and I've got 25 attachments in an email. That's almost unheard of. So you don't always have to send everything to um, scan to folder, but I just wanted to show you the contract. Scan to folder has no size limit because it's within your network. But if you have scan to email, then um, there's size restrictions, right? It's only up to 10 meg or maybe 20 meg, depending on what your IT person has put it at. So this really demonstrated that you can do a massive scan, it'll split it for you, and it's only in kilobytes. It's, it's a tiny file, but the resolution has stayed to be clear for me. So hopefully that helps you guys. Uh